Tonight, we're hearing just what went down at Woodland Hills. We have the 911 calls from the latest escape from the Youth Development Center on Friday. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is live in our newsroom, and these calls, Nick, they truly do paint one ugly picture. They really do. More embarrassment for DCS, more embarrassment for the state. As you're about to hear, the escapes are becoming the norm, not the exception to the rule. To have about almost um, 25 students broke out of their building into the yard. I had uh, several students to uh, jump an um, officer, and uh, they made off with uh, with his keys, and uh, they um, made it out the back door of the building. Now, it all happened this past Friday, and yes, 13 teens actually left the Woodland Hills campus tonight. It's unclear if this was an organized escape or just controlled mayhem, but after this baker's dozen got away, the teens, mostly three-time felons, didn't hesitate to get violent. Listen now to this call from a passing motorist. Y'all had an escape over here at Woodland Hills again. They was down at the railroad track because they threw, they were going up the, that railroad track that little under. Yep. They threw rocks at my car because I got an got a Impala. They probably thought it was a cop car. They started throwing rocks at my car. Now, these teens claim to be upset about their treatment at the facility, and they decided to leave, though. They said afterwards they knew they'd get caught. This was the second escape this month. 32 teens got away, you'll remember, back on September 1st. Now, today, the governor said much more needs to be done to make sure this does not happen again, and they're going to be taking steps to address it. In all, 45 teens escaped this month. As we speak, all but two have been taken back into custody.